Hey, so some of you have asked me with the poppers how I build a popper wall, for lack of a better term. So what I like to use is a 130 pound hard mono. This stuff is high seas Grand Slam leader. Cut a little section just shy of the length of the popper body. Bring it up, just capture it. You don't have to worry about getting it too captured because you will be putting some glue on here. But what I like to do is build up this wall because when you're dealing with predator type fish, muskies and such, and poppers, without having something for the pressure to go against, you know, when a fish hits, Without this, what I found is a lot of times it'll just knock the head right off of a popper. And you know, it's a massive waste of a popper. So what we do is put a little glue. And there's always going to be excess, but with these Krebs poppers that I use, you, know, you got to slit down the middle, you can open it up. Position as you want it, and then you give it a good squeeze. And that squeeze is going to fill all of that gap. And then what I do is come back level it there it's basically at the end of the day when you spend time making poppers like this you want to make sure they're bomb proof after that a little bit of loon or whatever curable stuff you use Fill up this gap. I just do this as just another another chance to make this thing last through a couple fish. Go ahead and cure it. Next, you want to throw on your eyes. And lastly, you throw on your legs. So for the legs, pick up a needle. I picked up some cheap stuff on Amazon, so I have no idea how this stuff's gonna work, but we shall see how it works. What I do like to do with these legs here or any legs that I put through a popper body, is wet my finger. I'm not really sure how much this helps, but it makes me feel good. Now 
I like to even these legs out just a little bit. And we're done.